Let's have a look now with my economics panel at the business fallout of the Christine Holgate ousting and a whole lot more. Do that now. I'm joined from Melbourne by Herald and Weekly Times columnist, the wonderful Terry McCran, and from Sydney founder of Switzer, the incomparable yeah. Peter Switzer. Terry, you've written about Christine Holgate today. We're talking about the business of Australia Post, multi-billion dollar business. We all care about it. We want it to continue to survive all the technology changes. You say that Chairman Bartolomeo is out of his depth. Tell us why. Well, quite clearly, Peter, he is. I mean, go right back to October 22 when he gets that phone call from Paul Fletcher, the communications minister. He had a very clear responsibility as chairman of Australia Post, and that was to put the interests of Australia Post first, not to do the bidding of, uh, of, his, of the ministry in particular, but most especially that the, the Prime Minister who was ranting mm -hmm. in Parliament. He should have made it very clear that, yes, the Prime Minister could have his inquiry into what happened with these ridiculous $20,000 Cardia watches, but... That would, he would not allow that to seriously impact on the operation of Australia Post. And quite clearly, as he himself has admitted, Christy Holgate was a brilliant chief executive. And what he did back mm. then on October 22 was to actually agree to sack her because there was no way that you could treat Christine the way they have treated her and expect her to come back, what with a towel between her legs after being mauled and, and just accept plainly you know, the, the, the abuse that had been directed to her. So he demonstrated he's unfit to be chairman. And as you've indicated, this is a very, very important business, and it's particularly important in the country. Everybody in the National yeah. Party, all those members should be saying, what are you doing, Prime Minister? Just, just quickly on this, Peter, I mean, I thought it was really interesting. That BCG report lands and, and one of the recommendations is split off the parcel business. Holgate opposes that. Of course, in government, that's a good lick of money to go into the budget. But she opposes that. She was right because, you see, COVID hit. We're all shopping from home. We were doing that anyway, if you're me. But, but you know, the parcel business is the most lucrative of Australia Post and it helps balance the books. She was right. <clears throat> Absolutely. And you think of all the franchisees who've come out in support of Christine Holgate. Christine actually brought to Australia Post a very business-like approach was exactly what it's supposed to have. And, and that initiative that was, is linked to the, the Cartier watches, bringing something like $220 million worth of uh, revenue from Bank at Post, all that sort of stuff, showed that she's the right type of person to run Australia Post. And, the, and, and why would you give up the, the one aspect of Australia Post that really has potential? You know, it's classic government and public service you know, mindlessness. And uh, Christine Holgate is one of the best CEOs I've interviewed on my business program over the past decade and really should have been treated like this. Yeah, and sort of related to all this, Terry, I mean, evidence out today, bricks and mortar bank branches, they're closing right around the country. At their fastest rate in over 20 years, partly it's it's pandemic related, but partly it's the business model of, of uh, shop fronts, if I can call it that. Uh, the finance sector union says there's been almost 300 permanent closures completed or scheduled since early last year. And supposedly, yes, some 90% of us are doing all our interactions over the phone or online. But what does this mean for older Australians or people living in regional areas? If they've only got one bank and the bank branch closes, well, they've got Aussie Post still because of Christine Holgate, but not much else. Well, exactly, exactly, Peter. And, I mean, this is inevitable in the banking space. But the banks face their own existential challenges with all the online alternatives that are springing up, led obviously by Afterpay, that, that sort of example, mm. and the Amazons. But if, as you say, I mean, keeping post offices alive in the country is fundamental to providing that, that, that service which is so vital, not just to older Australians in the country, but indeed everybody, every business in the country. And that you can't do that. Does the government want to do that on a subsidised basis with taxpayer money? Christine Holgate is saying, mm. no, we can do that by having a commercial business built around parcel delivery, the biggest parcel delivery business in the country, the most efficient parcel delivery business in the country. So the combination of both the economic reality and the service delivery to people in the country makes it a no-brainer. It's just incredible yeah, that, with that you, can't be seen. The watches are, the watches are a sideshow.